In today's society, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life and forget about the things that truly matter. We are so focused on survival that we don't take the time to focus on prospering. There are mental errors that we make on a daily basis that prevent us from achieving our goals and living a prosperous life. By becoming aware of these errors, we can change our mindset and start living a life of abundance. Welcome to coffeepo.com, where you learn finance every day. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do, as we bring valuable information every day to keep you informed and updated about finances. In this video, we'll take a look at 10 of the most common mental errors that can keep you from becoming rich. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. 1. The sunk cost fallacy. We've all been there before. We've invested time, energy, and money into something and then, later on, realize that it was a bad decision. But even though we know it was a mistake, we can't seem to let go. Why is that? It's called the sunk cost fallacy, and it's one of the mental errors that are keeping you from being rich. The sunk cost fallacy is the idea that we are more likely to continue investing in something as long as we have already invested so much in it. In other words, we throw good money after bad. There are two reasons why this fallacy is so dangerous. First, it leads us to make bad decisions. If we're rational, we should base our decisions on the expected future returns of an investment, not on how much we've already invested. Second, even if we do make a good decision, the sunk cost fallacy can still lead us to waste money. For example, let's say you buy a stock for $100 and it goes down to $90. You know you should sell it, but you think, I can't sell it now, I've already lost $10. Or let's say you're considering going back to school to get a degree in a field that is rapidly changing. You know it will be expensive and time consuming, but you think, I can't waste the money I've already spent on my education. In both of these cases, you're allowing the sunk cost fallacy to influence your decision making, and it's costing you money. Two, you have a personal bias. We all have biases, and they all get in the way of our success, especially when it comes to money. We all want to be rich, but the thing is, most of us will never be. Why? Because we all make mental errors that keep us from becoming wealthy. You have a personal bias. We all have biases, and they all get in the way of our success, especially when it comes to money. For example, you might think that you need to have a lot of money to be rich, or you might believe that rich people are greedy and selfish. These beliefs will prevent you from ever becoming wealthy. Why? Because if you think you need a lot of money to be rich, you'll never save enough. And if you believe that rich people are greedy and selfish, you'll never want to become one. 3. Anchoring We all have financial goals. Whether it's to save for a rainy day, buy a house or retire comfortably, we all want to be financially stable. But for many of us, these goals seem unattainable. We feel like we're stuck in a rut, unable to move forward. There could be a number of reasons why you're not achieving your financial goals. But one of the most common is what behavioral economists call anchoring. Anchoring occurs when we fixate on a certain number or reference point and use it to make subsequent decisions. For example, Let's say you're looking to buy a new car. You find one that you like and the sticker price is $30,000. You begin to negotiate with the salesperson and they eventually come down to $28,000 you think to yourself. That's still a lot of money. I'll see if I can get them down to $25,000. You're anchored to the $30,000 sticker price and it's impacting your ability to make a decision. You're fixated on the $30,000 and you're not considering that $28,000 is a good deal for the car. The takeaway is that anchoring can impact our ability to make sound financial decisions. We get fixated on a certain number or goal and it prevents us from seeing the bigger picture. Or cascade denial. One of the biggest mental errors is cascade denial. This is when we tell ourselves that we'll start saving tomorrow or that we don't need to save as much because we'll make more money in the future. This line of thinking keeps us from making the changes we need to make today in order to be rich tomorrow. Another mental error is thinking that we don't have enough money to save. This is often an excuse to not save at all. However, 
Even small amounts of money can add up over time if we're consistent. We may also fall into the trap of thinking that we need to keep up with the Joneses. This can lead us to spend money we don't have on things we don't need. Instead of succumbing to peer pressure, we should focus on our own financial goals. These mental errors can keep us from being rich, but we can overcome them by changing our thinking. Five. Your overestimate thoughts of success. You're probably not as good as you think you are. That's not to say you're not good, but the odds of success are often overestimated. This is especially true when it comes to financial success. Many people think they are destined to be rich. They see the lavish lifestyle of the 1% and think that's where they belong. But the truth is, the odds of becoming a millionaire are slim. In fact, according to a study by Spectrum Group, only 3.6% of Americans are millionaires. If you're not in that top 3.6%, it doesn't mean you're not good with money. It just means you need to be realistic about your odds of becoming wealthy. Overestimating the odds of success is a mental error that can keep you from becoming rich. It can lead to impulsive decisions, like buying a luxury car or taking out a loan you can't afford. It can also make you less likely to save and invest because you think you don't need to. Six black and white dilemma. There's a popular saying that goes, there's two types of people in this world, those who see the world in black and white, and those who see the world in shades of gray. The former group is often seen as being too idealistic, while the latter is seen as being too cynical. But what if there was a third group of people who saw the world neither in black and white nor in shades of gray? but in a spectrum of colors. This group of people would be more accurate in their perception of the world, and as a result, would be less likely to make the mental errors that can occur when things are seen in black and white. The black and white dilemma is a cognitive bias that refers to the tendency to see the world in absolutes as either good or bad, right or wrong. This way of thinking is often at the root of many of the mental errors we make. Seven expecting other people to read your mind or act like you would. We've all been there. You're at work and you've had a long day. You're expecting your boss to read your mind and give you a raise or your significant other to know what you're thinking and do what you want them to do. But more often than not, people don't read minds. And when it comes to money, this can be a costly mistake. If you want to be rich, you need to start communicating your needs and wants clearly. You can't expect other people to read your mind or act like you would. You need to be clear about what you want and be willing to ask for it. Some people are afraid to ask for what they want, fearing that they'll be rejected. But the truth is, you'll never know until you try. And even if you are rejected, you'll be one step closer to getting what you want. Eight, high confidence is usually found in the least competent people. It's no secret that many of the world's richest people are also some of the most confident. But what may be surprising is that this confidence is often misplaced. In fact, research has shown that high confidence is often found in the least competent people. This phenomenon is known as the Dunning-Kruger effect, and it's one of the mental errors that can keep you from becoming rich. The Dunning-Kruger effect is a cognitive bias that causes people to overestimate their abilities and underestimate the abilities of others. This bias is named after two psychologists, David Dunning and Justin Kruger, who conducted a series of studies in the 1990s that demonstrated the effect. One of the most famous studies conducted by Dunning and Kruger was a test of logical reasoning. The researchers found that the people who scored the lowest on the test were also the most likely to overestimate their score. In other words, the people who were the worst at logical reasoning were the most confident in their abilities. Nine, red car effect. You know the saying, you can't judge a book by its cover. Well, it turns out that you can judge a person by their car. A study from the University of Minnesota found that people who drive flashy cars are more likely to be rude, aggressive, and even unethical. On the other hand, people who drive more modest cars are more likely to be seen as kind, helpful, and honest. So if you're driving a beat-up old car, you might want to trade it in for something a little nicer. It could make a world of difference in the way people perceive you. 10. Worrying about things outside of your control. Worrying about things outside of your control is a common mental error that can keep you from being rich. You can't control the stock market, interest rates, or the actions of other people. Worrying about these things is a waste of time and energy. Instead, focus on the things you can control, like your own actions and behavior. Another mental error that can keep you from becoming rich is thinking you need to be perfect. Perfectionism is a form of procrastination, 
and it can prevent you from taking action and making progress. If you're waiting for everything to be perfect before you start taking steps to improve your financial situation, you'll never get anywhere. Remember that progress, not perfection, is the goal. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more videos from our channel, subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell icon.